Welcome back, Lakeland Sports and freshman defenseman Bemidji State. Uh, we're now uh, talking with Zach Whitecloud for the first time. Pleasure to meet you, first of all, sir. Nice to meet you. And, uh, well, tell us, first of all, your journey to Bemidji State, uh, when you found out uh, who was recruiting you hard, and, and then that decision. Uh, my journey here, uh, I guess it wasn't an easy one. I mean, uh, um, it definitely took a while to, to kind of get out on the college route and figure things out. Um, you know, I didn't really discover the college route until about 17, 18 years old, so a little later than most. But, uh, you know, my coach and uh, juniors really helped me out and helped me with my video and the recruiting process and everything. So um, that's definitely how I got myself down here. Yeah, I watched a little video on the old YouTube, too, and uh, just take a look at that highlights. I'm sure the coaches. So uh, which coach were you in contact with first? Uh, I was in contact with Teddy Bilal. He's, he's not here anymore. He's now uh, on to bigger and better things. And um, But he... Uh, he, he really helped me um, make my decision a lot easier. Um, he was very supportive, and he, he was always making sure that I knew what was going on, um, where I kind of stood um, in, their, uh, in their plan of attack and things like that. So uh, it was always comforting knowing that, um, that he really cared about me and cared about uh, my, uh, my experience with the recruiting process. Brandon, not too far from Bemidji compared to uh, some of the recruits, obviously, and uh, you must have liked that too. So uh, friends, family, that type of thing could, could make it down here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my parents get to come down uh, pretty much every weekend and even to some of the away games. So um, I'm definitely extremely grateful that uh, I get to play hockey where I do and for the organization that I do. Um, you know, it's close to home. It's only about six, seven hours away. So uh, that makes it all, all the more special to even play hockey in the in the hockey state in Minnesota, mm -hmm. but to uh, but to have my parents come down here and experience uh, the journey along with me. So, a couple of years ago, I saw that uh, you won a uh, a Manitoba Aboriginal Award. Is that is that accurate? Uh, and tell us about that. Uh, yeah. So um, I mean, I I never really go with specific titles, but I mean, it uh, they they have the title on uh, Male Athlete of the Year for 2015, 2016. Um, I was extremely grateful about uh, uh, receiving that award and, uh, you know, only one person gets to receive it. So, you know, definitely getting that uh, is, um, is, uh, is something incredibly special. Um, not too many people from my area or from my reservation at all have ever received that. So to put my reservation on the map like that and uh, to, to know that athletes do and can come out of there is, uh, is very special to me. And, uh, just representing my culture like that is is something I aim to do and continue to do throughout my life. So yeah, tremendous achievement, uh, Dakota Nation. Dakota, correct, correct. correct. And, and uh, how many are, are playing hockey, uh, and is it growing in Manitoba? You know, I, I couldn't tell you an actual stat, and I can't even give you a rough number. Um, I mean, a couple uh, other Aboriginal um, hockey players I know of, Ethan Bear, he's with the Seattle Thunderbirds, mm -hmm. um, drafted to the Edmonton Oilers. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, uh, the Nolan, the Nolan uh, family, Ted Nolan, Jordan Nolan, those guys in the NHL. So I mean, it's represented fairly well throughout uh, throughout hockey, but uh, you know, it's it's growing within the culture. Um, it's it's this, the big commitment issue. I feel is uh, is what I've learned over the uh, the years, and I've had friends, and I grew up on an Aboriginal youth team. So um, I just know the uh, the commitment is an issue, and it's, it's just getting past that first barrier of the commitment and uh, wanting to do what you want to do. And this is something that I want to do all my life and continue to do for for a big part of my life. And uh, that's that's what I intend on doing. So it sure is great to have you here, uh, Zach. It didn't take you too long too to to get your first goal, uh, right? I mean, talk about that a little bit on the power play. You just oh, kind of Tom flicked it at the net. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> that was an experience I'll never forget, honestly. Um, and, you know, I don't think any any kid would ever forget that experience. Your thoughts here, it's very early on in, in the season, but the potential for this team, uh, you, you must feel it. Oh, I think uh, I think everyone can feel it around Bemidji. You know, uh, this team's got, got a ton of power. i got a ton of scoring power, good defensive abilities. And, I mean, uh, the goaltending is, is, is nothing short of stellar. I mean, uh, we've, we've got all the tools, and, and everyone in our locker room knows that. Everyone knows that, and, and uh, you know the Beavers have always been known for the work ethic, and that's what we pride ourselves in: is work ethic. Don't get beat by anyone, and uh, you know always have first touches on pucks, always win the battles. You know we're a hardworking team, and, and that's what we pride. You know, and uh, you put, <laughs> you put, uh, you put the skill we have, the work ethic we have, and uh, the battle mentality we have. You put that all together, you've got one, one nasty team coming at you every night, and uh, and that's what we're gonna do every night. Is we're we're gonna go out and we're we're gonna compete every single night. That's that's and everyone knows that that's everyone knows that. So, um, you know, that's the one thing I like is that everyone everyone in that room is battling for the guy next to you. 
and that's that's something that uh, I'll uh, I'll always have with me for the rest of my life, and that's a lesson I've learned already, and that's um, that's the way I love to play. So, I'll, you know, this team has tremendous potential, and uh, we're going to show it to you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's a lot of fun meeting you too, sir. And all the best here. We'll talk to you again later this season. Absolutely, thank you very much uh, for having me in. That was nice, nice meeting you too. <laughs> all right, Zach Whitecloud, uh, freshman defenseman, Brandon Manitoba. We'll be back in just a moment on Lakewood Sports.